Like I said, it's gonna get interesting. All this old machinery is broken now. I think we can only open it manually. How the hell am I supposed to assist with that? Quick, jump below the door. It won't hold for long. Oh shit, okay. I can't go on with you, but I won't stop looking for a way. When you find Zabaltazar and Clementine, tell them I was brave. What? I'm not leaving you behind completely? What the fuck is this nonsense? You gotta be kidding me. They're really gonna have me just abandon him here? In fucking... Zerg Central? I don't like this. This is the part in the horror movie where splitting up gets somebody killed. Not gonna be me. Uh, Momo. Oh, we are in the belly of the beast. Jesus. Yeah, this is this is uh. Umbrella Corporation's behind this, clearly. Oh boy. I swear to God, if they don't reunite us with Momo. Alright, it's one of the locked off entrances. We're starting to hit blue light, though, so we gotta keep an eye out for the, uh, the memory. and damage them. Oh, man. inside the wall? Okay, that's interesting. Uh... Alright, that definitely... Yeah, okay. On the spot for the memory. Sewer system. Yes, I remember now. Clean water was scarce. The city was supplied by huge machinery that dug deep into the earth. Just like everything else, it was rationed out to sustain people during times of drought. The scientists showed me the blueprint of the water tanks. They're huge and contain a whole building in them. Alrighty. Yeah, I figure this is just for the memory, right? Not gonna make me try to jump that. Oh, those things are still stuck in the wall. As long as they are, they're apparently not affected by this either.
be a ladder in the area where that memory is. A ladder mixed with all the organic growth. Actually, you know what? I just realized something. I don't know if I can make it back. Yeah, I can. Sweet. I want to check something. I forgot about the zoom to focus in. What is that? I think we can make it to that, maybe? I'm not entirely certain. Get away from the uh, glitched out ones. too far down. That would be too far down. Need some illumination here. Uh, oh god. That's the same kind of pipe that we felled from to start the whole damn game. So that made me nerd. Uh, boy. Feather the throttle, so to speak, with the uh, the ability. Let them group up. That helps quite a bit. Oh shit! I group up that much though. Uh oh. Uh oh. Run! I didn't feather it well enough. Might have almost bit off more than I could chew there. Ah. Getting real foggy in here too. Gotta get this open, I think. Biggest question is how? What am I hearing? Oh. Gee, I wonder how I could open this. <laughs> Uh oh. Oh, shit. I didn't see a ladder in this area, though, so. Don't think we missed the memory. Yet. Yet being the keyword. <laughs> Ah, 
won't walk into that. Okay. Sound effect is slightly annoying, but only because I've been kind of spamming this so much. Oh my god, what the fuck? What the hell? Oh shit! Oh no! Crap! I didn't mean to do that. Memory's not back here, right? That's what I was afraid of, is that I'd wind up in a situation like this where it's like, am I gonna miss the memory because I'm being chased so hard that I'm trying to get away? I can't jump into that. And those aren't affected by it. Interesting. just gonna try to avoid setting them off. And I really hope I didn't miss it back there. And jumping on any of these. I think these are just the uh, some of the spawn points. Oh, they were definitely making it dicey, though. Let me just make sure I can't jump to something back here. Yep, like I thought, I can jump to something back here. This seems like the main path. I think that jump over there is leading towards the other memory. Let's go check this out first. Just to be sure. Yeah, this looks like the memory room. Yep. 100%. The substance grows in all places where there are zerks. What is it made out of? It seems to pulse as though alive. Do you think we're inside a giant organism? It's frame chilling. And I hope we're not inside a giant ass organism. But it's starting to feel that way more and more. Fucking eyes everywhere. Alright, we can stop with the creepy music. I'm good. Let's just avoid setting them off. We have all the memories. Now we just gotta find a way out. This space actually reminds me of a, a spot in Ghost Runner, funny enough. Oh, God. No, you don't. That was about ready to burst on me. Balls. 
Yeah, this is going to get uh, crowded very fast, I'm guessing. There it is. I saw another batch drop somewhere. There they come. Uh, I can't jump across from here, can I? I think the biggest thing is to get them to funnel. There we go. Come on, funnel, funnel. There we go. Shit. Come out. Get me out of here. I do not want my little buddy in the holster right now. Guns drawn. That's the approach to this. Holy shit. Oh, there's the big ass eyeball. Man, I did not picture something like this in this game. What are you doing? Oh shit. Oh no. You like big time overcharged. Well, we're back to a run. Go. Oh shit, serpentine. Oh, Serpentine! All the Serpentines! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Even if I had a charge, he'd overheat trying to shoot them away. Oh boy. Oh boy. No! Get up! Get up! Shit! Gotta, gotta hit the apex of the turns there. Ah, uh, balls. No, 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 get on my ass. Oh, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Yeah, we made it. Come on, B12. Uh, B12? There we go. There we go, little buddy. It was dark. I was alone. It felt like I was back in the network. But you saved me. Thank you, friend. Drawing that much power was rough on my core. Defluxer is completely destroyed now. We'll have to be careful. Ow, mother. All right, well. We have lost our weapon. That's no bueno. No bueno at all. Ugh. Get out of the muck. Nasty. Uh, I assume there's a way through all this. Oh, yeah. I'm a cat. I can just go right through. <laughs> hey! Oh, I remember seeing this in a trailer, just this visual. 
Baladin, a traveler from the sewers, we haven't seen one of you in ages. Are you the one who contacted us earlier? The little outsider? The Baltazar the outsider has been expecting you. He's meditating at the top of our village. No Zerk zone. <laughs> Ant Village. Nice. Yeah, there's another one of those uh, chambers. This machine, the scientist I assisted, used one of these. He was sick. This was his last hope. He walked into the machine. But I wasn't with him. He was alone. What was he doing? He uploaded himself into the computer and then everything was different. But the upload... Something went wrong. He was stuck for hundreds of years. Until... A little cat appeared. Oh, I think it's hitting him. Was it... It was! Me! I was the scientist. I was human. I... I need a moment. Called it! Got some chappiness going on. I mean, to be fair, it's not that, you know... Uh, original of a plot. <laughs> like... It wasn't hard to guess at it, but... What were the circumstances that led to it in this world is really interesting. I'm sorry, I... I need a moment. I don't feel like talking right now. Okay. So we're not going to be able to talk to anyone here. Oh, are we leaving our mark yet again? Yes, we are. Got to make sure those are nice... Nice and deep. Nice and visible. There we go. Aw. One person happy, one person not so much. <laughs> like... Oh, it's some paint to cheer you up. That paint? Yep, didn't change their moods. Okay. Ooh. Did we do it? We're a cat. I think we do it. Oh. Nice. The the line for that was catastrophe. <laughs> uh oh. I just realized I don't know how to get back up. Uh... Actually what we should do oh no. He's not even coming out for the, uh, the inventory. Oh, wow. He's really stuck in there. Wow. Okay. I was going to see what that optional memory was, but he's not even coming out to, to let me take a look at that on the heads-up display. Interesting. Well, we can't take the plant. I mean, I can't say that I wouldn't react differently, you know? Yeah, we can climb back up. Some nice tunes. Hey, cabinetry. Uh-oh. Okay, so there's a purple plant we can grab. Get the feeling we're going to need to grab some uh, plant stuff for Baltazar. Or is it Baltazar? There's the memory, but he won't come out for it. Man, 
there's a good amount of people here. And they're all gonna know a cat was here. Aw. A little swing. <laughs> You know, let's see what the view is from here, shall we? Yeah, that's uh, not as big of a reveal, I guess, just in the sense that uh, it was what I guessed. <laughs> like, but still, the, the circumstances around it and the promise that he made and the fact that we found another one of those chambers, how many others might there be? Because uh, I remember, uh, what was it, the movie Nine? Where scientists basically, like, splits their consciousness into nine different personalities? And I wonder if there's any kind of a similar thing going on here. Not with splitting personalities so much as, like, how many others did this happen with? If that chamber, uh, it's at the bottom now of this uh, view, is found somewhere else, right? Are there other human beings who transform themselves into consciousness, into AI? This is wonderful art direction for this. All right. Go ahead and pull out of that. And I think I know the path. Continue. Oh, are you ready to talk to me, 12? What else have I forgotten? I must have had parents, friends. What happened to everyone? I wanted to open the city, but is there even anyone left to save? I mean, you're out and about? No, I'm not opening the inventory, so... Not yet. Oh. I didn't even notice he was in front of a TV. <laughs> a lot of wires in his head. <laughs> hey, was you not on Earth a fellow during his transcendental meditation? Oh, it's you. You were with Momo when we received that call earlier. I'm glad to meet you at last, little outsider. You know Momo and Doc, so you're already familiar with us outsiders. I miss them. Their memory brings me peace. I almost stayed in the slums. I heard you helped find Doc. And Clementine... She's in Midtown now. If you still want to see the outside, she's the one who can get you there. Apparently, she had some kind of a plan to leave the city. Here, take this. I wrote her address on the back of this picture. Aww. To reach Midtown, climb up our little village. It should be easy for a dexterous one like you. If you manage to reach the outside, you will be the very first. I'd wish you good luck, but you don't need it. I believe in you. Aw. I'm sorry for shutting down earlier. I'm human. Probably the last in the world. Now, look what's left of me. So much has come back to me. How much have I forgotten? Maybe we find Clementine and we can restore my memories and get you back home at the same time. We can go back down and find out more from the companions, or head onward to Midtown. Ah, we're gonna find out more. 100%. Always find out more. And, of course, they give us a nice, easy way to go all the way back down. Let me see if the person at the front will answer any questions. Nice track. 
about them. Nope. You're just there to greet me. Okay. Oh, that's right. We found the, uh... Oh. They're different symbols, I think. This is a picture of Clementine and Zabalthazar. He told us to find her. She's an outsider, too. There's also a series of symbols written on the back of the pictures. I want to say that was the, uh... No, there were purple flowers, weren't there? Out of the flower selections we saw. Ooh, hello. Goodbye. <laughs> Did you know there are more than 900 shades of white paint? Don't tell anyone, but I'm creating my own shade of paint. I'm calling it Garbage Brown. <laughs> Sores. May is in her deconstructivist period, so she says. I'm sure she'll become a great artist. If only she could practice elsewhere. <laughs> Moo much. I do love the smell of fresh paint. It reminds me of... Oh, wait. I can't smell anything. How sad. Oh, damn it. No, you were smiling before. All right, there we go. They're smiling. They're, they're back to being happy. Hmm. Statistically, I should have won at least eight times. All right, Marie, don't you think you're a little flurry yourself eight times? Gnome, 9,536 games, one to six. Jesus. Don't tell anybody I'm actually programmed to win at this game. <laughs> All right, the fact that they lost six times then is surprising. Go ahead and see what these fine people are up to. Jenkins. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. I was a bellbot many cycles ago, but I've repurposed myself into a treasure hunter. Don't be fooled by the sound of it. It can be hard and gruesome, just like this arm I just found. Ugh. Poor fellow. May he rust in peace. Nice touch. Let's go ahead and grab the red plant. Those flowers look pretty. There's probably a robot that would love them. Yep, figured as much. Oh, there go the bottles. <laughs> I remember right, the purple was up higher, though. Oh, there we go. Let's get the memory. This language. The companion robots made it up from scratch. How impressive. I remember it happening when I was in the network. I don't know when exactly, but at one time, all the communication started to switch to these symbols. I was stuck in a computer and alone for a long time. So I translated every symbol and word one by one until I was able to understand everything. Now that I'm out and I know their language, I'm curious to hear all they have to say. Electric Zerk everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's having a dream as much as a nightmare. But I didn't notice. I can scratch this up. We're gonna do it. There we go. Little memento for when you wake up. Oh, hello there. It's been so long since we've had a visitor. Well, except those damn zerks, of course. Imagine if we could harness their power? Having them run in a wheel or something. Such wasted potential. <laughs> Let's turn them into hamsters. Uh... When I grow up, I want to be great like Aunt Clementine. I wanted to explore like she did, but the grown-ups forbade us to leave Aunt Village. It is a much nicer spot than the slums, that's for sure. 
So, you know, big surprise there. What the hell is that tree? Is it higher up? Yeah, it must be. Yeah, that's right. It's just ahead. Alexander, the soothing sound of trash falling, shimmering waterfalls, no dangers. It's a blissful place to work on my poetry. Here, listen. The mighty concrete, shielding me in its womb, shall you also be my tomb? <laughs> you think it's too solemn? Give you a nice meow for the poetry attempt. Ah, that's right. I did go past it. Alright, can we please... There we go. Grab ourselves a purple plant. Yeah, it would be the same line for them. Okay. I mean, they're trying to make their own color. Garbage brown, that's still pretty good. <laughs> Wouldn't be Zabalthazar, would it? My old friends, I miss them all the time. Don't forget about that address on the back of that picture. Ah, it's an address, okay. Oh, he's not interested in flowers. Which means someone ahead, probably. Hello, fine sirs. This food is actually horrible, but it's the only thing around. I'll have to unscrew my front casing if I keep eating this trash. <laughs> Look how it's just wires. People call me the Tin Chef. I specialize in upcycling leftovers. Today's special, Ramen J45, with my secret ingredient. Another place to scratch up. In need it is. Thank you for the lurk, bad. I hope you're having a uh, a good day so far, man. Uh, so far, haven't found anyone that would use those plants. Use the piping. Oh, I think we might have found the person. Oh, uh, hold on. Let's uh make sure that we're remembered before we talk to them. Good first impression, right? <laughs> Hello, buddy. How are you? Did you know that Aunt Clementine taught us how to grow special plants that can live without sunlight? I have a huge collection of them. Do you want to see? Still missing some colors, though. I'm missing a yellow plant, a red one, and yes, a purple plant. If only someone small and agile could get them for me. Well, I've got the red plant. Oh wow, so pretty, thank you. Could you find the other for me? Please, please? Ooh, I heard it's a rare plant. Thank you. And we can see them popping in there. So now we just have to find a yellow one. Don't remember seeing anything that made it look like I could get a yellow plant yet, so... Oof, I'm bored. Aunt Clementine used to hold classes here. We learned a lot of cool stuff. Anything to translate? No? Okay. 
Everything's marked October the 11th. So that's got to be the day that either everybody transformed or the world, like, completely came to an end. I can't think of... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I see yellow. There we go. That's what I had missed. All right, let's go ahead and get the yellow. Like I said, if only someone could snatch a yellow plant, a red plant, and a purple plant for me. I got you. I love that color. Thanks, buddy. You found them all. Thank you so much. Here, as a reward, take my badge. The plant badge. Sweet. It looks so good with it. Well, take care now. See you, friend. Oh, the badges are on me. I just realized that. Nice. Very nice. I didn't notice that before. <laughs> I completely missed it. I was Because I was about to say, I'm like, man, I don't see the badges anywhere in my inventory. And it's like, that's because they're actually on you. That's a nice touch. I like that. It's a very nice touch. Oh, boy. Is that a jump I can make? No. I'll go this way. This game would have been a nightmare to design if it wasn't preset jumps. <laughs> oh, into the more industrial areas. All right. But we are over time, and seeing as how, yeah, there's a lot of memories to gather, including the main one going through this. Uh, I'm actually going to call it here for, for this stream.